So I don't share more about business. Because somebody brought it up today, it's like, oh, why are you talking about this stuff about fixing the bad and stuff and not about business? Because life gets in the way of business sometimes. But also, the stuff I'm doing at the moment, business, it's not for discussion on YouTube. Um, I've got several meetings with some clients in the UK at the moment. I have got meetings th this evening with several people I'm working with in Spain. The teaching stuff in the Philippines is now moving into another transition period because it's gone from um, getting Mark set up to teach online and now we're moving it into the next level because the first thing we look for is sustainability. Once it's sustainable, we start expanding it out, but it also creates the path on how you can do this from a standing start. Because within two months, I think Mark's in month three, he's gone from making about $350 in the first month and now over $1,000 in the third month, the start of the third month. Um, so the point is, that's a transition period. But also you've got the fact that he's gone from A, B, C, all on one-to-one -one teaching, and now it's moving into, okay, we're gonna move into group lessons and start developing the business. The only thing that's tied me up is because I had my TESOL exams. So I've had about 40 exams to do over the last 12 months. I mean, we got it down as 120 hour course, it's not 120 hours. And talk to most of the people um, I know that have done some of these courses, they've never completed them because they get bogged down in a lot of it because a lot of the information is simply not there. Um, they make it vague on purpose because I've, I've sort of argued with them on this a little bit. I said, well, if you're teaching somebody, you have to give somebody the tools to work with. If you can't get the logic behind it, then they, they will never learn because you, you're supposed to be giving them the tools to learn. If you're saying, right, you need to put a lesson plan together, this is what we want, off you go, with no examples, no structure to it or anything else, that 10 minute exercise can take somebody two days um, because they don't know what they're looking for. Because although they have a structure, there's only um, basics to it. When I say basics, I'm talking title. And then you've got to review what each title actually means and the variations depending on the type of lesson, etc. So it becomes very expansive. Um, but then because you're not working to examples, you're sort of going, okay, well, is this right? Is this right? You're not 100% what people are doing. I don't think that's right for a course. I think a course should be more structured and get people in the right direction and sort of saying, well, if you don't understand this, this is how we get you on the right path. This is where resource materials are good and where to get them from, that sort of thing. So that sort of stuff's been tying me down a little bit. I finished it. I finished my Tesla course. If anyone's actually interested, um, it, I got, I think it's about 94% um, for the whole course. But the, the point being is now that's released me to get on with the website stuff and the courses. Um, we've got Chris in the US who's very keen to get involved in the course stuff. There's other stuff we've got going on in the US as well relating to getting some government work. Um, the stuff I've got in the UK is also related to very large contracts and also a interface with a client I'm working with. Stuff I can't talk about. The stuff in the US, I can't talk about because it's still in the stages of getting it from the project put together, which is the bit we're doing now, to actually putting it in front of the right people to make decisions to move it into an actual business. So that's why I don't really talk about the business stuff too much. But you've got to understand that I don't sit here and put a path there for you. Um, Mark's got a path because Mark is part of our... English teaching. So Mark's got a path where he's come into our little venture. He started off um, teaching online with a few students. He's built it up to his schedule is now full and now we're moving it from teaching one-to-one -to, -one to adding group lessons. So why go group? Well the reason being is you charge less per student but you gain more per hour. 
So you can have like say say your private lessons are five well yeah, ten to twenty dollars an hour on one to one. With a group lesson, you could be charging five dollars or six dollars, but you could have eight students, ten students, whatever works. So the reality is you've increased significantly, and that's what we're working on. So when there's no th nothing going on about the business, don't assume there's nothing literally going on. It's just it's not ready yet. It's, it's basically in different stages, different things going on in the background, stuff that other people involved in, so I don't really talk about them because like with Mark, what Mark does is his private um, life, so I don't really talk about what Mark does. What he earns and stuff is his business. But the whole point is, I'm saying it's possible and we've proven within three months you can go from earning enough, I mean even the first month it was sustainable in the Philippines. In three months he's gone from that to he's clearing at least a thousand dollars. Now it doesn't sound a lot initially but the fact is that's only within a three month period. I want to get that up to about four thousand dollars and it's possible. And the reason I want to prove it can be done with Mark is I can replicate it. There's nothing to stop me replicating the same enterprise in other ways. So, yeah, don't assume nothing goes on. Just because I don't share it doesn't mean it's not happening. Also, the stuff I talk about generally in Spain are things that people need to be aware of if they move to Spain. Um, you know, like tools. Ordering tools in from the UK is often better than buying locally because they can be expensive locally. Um, but often a lot is substandard. Um, yeah, I generally buy tools from the UK. So bear that sort of stuff in mind. It, it's about being part of life, adapting to the environment you're in. And if you can help somebody else saying, look, don't buy from there, but if you call, um, let's go, screwfix.eu, they deliver to Spain and, well, the whole of the EU, and the quality is far superior than you'll get locally. That is very, very useful. Um, so yeah, I don't really discuss too much on business at the moment because everything's in transition. Everything's going from ideas into um, production, into proving it works, and then eventually it starts becoming much, much bigger. It's not a case of nothing's happening. It's like this evening, um, 8 p.m., I'm meeting with several people at the plaza. We've got the Fiesta here, and I've got several people coming over um, because we're going to discuss business at the plaza um, because there's different people with different skills. I'm bringing everybody together. Thanks for watching.